Hello and welcome to a video for SAP Business One where we will be covering external manual bank reconciliations. There now there's three different options within the system to do this. There's also semi-automatic and there's automatic. But for this scenario we're going to be using manual reconciliation. Now to start we're going to go to our module for banking, bank statements and external reconciliations and we're going to go to manual reconciliation here. We have to choose our account code to start. We're going to use this for an example here in this account, our cash on hand account. And it's going to populate what our last balance is. Now off of my bank statement, I have a number here that I'm going to type in. And I'm going to choose our end date for this. And we're going to call this March 31st. And once we open it up here, we have to put in first our statement number. And on the statement number, in this scenario, I'm going to use a, just a test number here. Now we can continue on and look at what we have here on our reconciliation bank statement. So as you can see, there's different transactions in here. Uh, both of these are in the forms of payments that we have. Um, so you can see the different type. There's payments. If there were deposits, they'd also be here. Um, and then we have the option to clear those. Now before I do that, I want to show you the cleared book balance down here at the bottom. And then we also have our statement ending balance, and then we have a difference in between. So as I start to clear these, you can see the number change on the bottom right. So there's our 500, there's our 100, but we still have a $100 difference in between. Now to do this, we're going to need to make an adjustment because we're missing $100 somewhere in the system. So let's say that this is a bank charge. To do that, we can go to adjustments. There's different options here. We can do journal entries, incoming payment, outgoing payment, checks for payment, and deposits. For this example, we're going to put in a journal entry. Now once we click on that, it's going to bring up our journal entry. And some things are going to be loaded on here. It's going to give us a number already, our posting date, all that will pre-populate, and it's going to bring up our account that we're going to be working with here. Now for this example, we owe $100, so we're going to put in a credit of $100. Like we said, this is a bank charge, and we have an account for this. So we're going to search our accounts again, filter our account name, and I'm going to bring up a bank charge. And we're going to debit that account by $100. And now when we hit Add, what's going to happen? Now, as you can see, another row has been added here for our $100. So here's our $100 payment, and now our difference is now zero. And we can continue on with the reconciliation, and when we hit Reconcile, our reconciliation is done. Thank you for watching this video. As always, please reach out to us here at Support One with any questions. Click on the link to subscribe for more content.